Hello, I'm Richard Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I have got an amazing car to show you. This is a 1938 Buick convertible, and it has been restored to a Concorde level, and it is beautiful. I just found out, in fact, that when it was restored, it was taken to the Concorde d'Elegance here in Forest Grove, Oregon, uh, and it won in its class, and it won another trophy as well. So, yeah, it, it's beautiful. It, it's an absolutely magnificent car. I want to take you around and show you some of its fine points. I think you'll be impressed, and really, there isn't anything on this car to complain about. And it's a fantastic driving car as well. So, let's take a look. Now, this is an original color, and the uh, color is called Corote Beige, and it does match the uh, data plate. It's been finished, of course, in a base coat, clear coat. Very high-end paint, very quality products used throughout uh, while painting the car. Now, in 1938, for the Buick Special, they used a straight eight, and it was a 248 cubic inch engine uh, produced about 107 horsepower, so not a real hot rod, of course, but it is enough power to move this large car along. Uh, secondly, and it's, uh, it's, this is kind of rare, but it does have a four-speed automatic transmission. You've got a, uh, a low gear, one and two, and then a higher gear, three and four, and it's shifted from a stop, you use a clutch, but that's the only time you really need to use the clutch, is just when you're stopping and starting. Otherwise, you don't need to use the clutch. But anyway, very unusual. Uh, this, that was an automatic that they would have used in these, but typically they were switched out at some point in their life uh, to a three-speed manual. So most of these that you'll see, if you ever see them at all, are going to be a three-speed manual. So that's a very rare and, and a pretty desirable transmission. So. At any rate, I want to point out to you all the trim and bright work on this car is absolutely all but perfect. It is beautiful everywhere as your special Buick special call out. Since I'm here, I guess I can show you inside the hood on, on this side. The Buick Dyna Flash 8 as it was called. Beautiful. Notice all the wiring utilized here has the fabric wrap like it would have originally. Of course, it's all brand new. There's that data plate that I talked about a little bit earlier, and all the numbers do match uh, from the data plate. Hood closes easy on both sides. I'll show you the other side when we get around there, but uh, I want you to be able to, to see it. Now, the wheels and tires, uh, these are 16 inch rims. And of course they all have the Buick Derby cap with the notches, pinstriped in a nice silver. And the red <coughs> uh, really offsets the, the uh, you know, this beige color nicely. Wide white wall, bias ply tires. But I'll tell you, this car drives down the road so nicely. It's a big, heavy car, and so it's just easy to drive, nice to drive. Everything, everything works on the car. It's beautiful. You got this nice canvas top with a nice uh, maroon beading that will match the interior, and of course, your little snaps, all the glass beautiful in there. Original style glass with the little, you can see the little safety LOF in there. All the chrome and bright work. Beautiful. Take inside the interior here. It's got the burgundy or red interiors. It's called red leather. And uh, this is how it would have looked originally from the factory. Of course, this has all been restored. And of course, you've got all these original little handles and handle pieces. Functioning clock, of course the clock works. All the bright work, chrome, trim, latches and so forth are just perfect in the car. Headliner, got your little uh, visors up there. 
that's a glass back window and it does have the matching boot for the top original you know mat here this is how they would have been would have had this mat this rubber matting here doors shut nicely and have a nice gap here on the shut lines nice beading here around your fenders uh, these are the steps that would get you into the rumble seat Let me, uh, open the rumble seat for you here Rumble seat, of course, finished off just like the rest of the interior. Take a look at your trenches here, all nice and clean. Even got the little rubber pieces for the corner. Again, red leather back here. You can see in the well there. Everything on this car was restored beautifully. There's nothing wrong with this car. Absolutely nothing. Back here again, you know, everything's nice. The chrome is beautiful. All your brackets and so forth. Either painted or powder coated beautifully. <clears throat> I'm going to show you in the trunk here in a second, but I'd like to talk briefly uh, about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com. Uh, I would, I would uh, recommend that you go there and check it out. I can't put it on the hoist here in a quick video, but I do have pictures of the undercarriage and of course it's as nice as what you see here. It's beautiful under there. Everything, again, everything restored of course. Engine rebuilt, transmission rebuilt, differential rebuilt, all new wiring. Nothing was untouched. It, it started out as a very nice, solid car. And I've got a few pictures, I don't know if I put them on the website, but I do have a few pictures of what it looked like uh, originally before it was restored show you in the trunk here too inside the trunk uh, this is the top boot and this is a little cover for tools and whatnot but this is the correct matting that you would have had back then this is the jack assembly here tools everything up here done very nicely Car looks like a 1938 brand new Buick. All the gauges work, all the lights work, all the accessories that I'm going to kind of point out some of them to you, they work. Uh, it's really cool. This is your uh, fuel filler door here, so you put your gas there. Of course, the running boards, very nice. This is an all-metal car. Everything just finished beautifully. Chrome. Here, let me show you the windows. Easily roll up and down. All the chrome finish around the edge. Here's a little, uh, I guess you could call that air conditioning from back then. This is a little cooling fan note, GM right here, and yes, it does work. So a little warm on you, you just turn the switch on, that little fan will try to keep you cool. Here's an old-fashioned style flashlight with the bracket to hold it on the steering column. Uh, the steering wheel, of course, restored as well. Excellent, all the chrome, beautiful. All the gauges work, again, you know, the speedometer. Uh, you know, it's your fuel gauge, temperature, or rather water temperature gauge, uh, oil pressure, and your charge and discharge gauge. Now, this right here, see this where it says special here? This actually lights up when you turn the interior light on. Now, you, I wouldn't be able to show you, it's too bright out here. But uh, tube radio, and yes, it does work.
again nice shut lines here all the trim and bright work excellent even around here you'll notice you probably noticed already that uh, there are spare tires uh, on both sides so both fenders carry a spare and it's the same exact wheel and tire setup within this housing as it is around the car that you see here let me show you the engine on this side see that nice fabric coated wiring we talked about and how clean everything is the drive shaft and so forth down there correct air cleaner and everything now this is one of the five cars that I received out of that collection I think if you, if you noticed uh, I talked about that a little bit earlier on a, a video uh, that I did but uh, they were all built locally here by an excellent company that does absolutely fine work. Uh, anything they do, everything they do is just, you know, just how you want it. Just clean and nice. Everything finished. I mean, look at the grill here. Now, of course, these are your headlights, but these, these, what they call, the brand is Trip, and they made them for Buick, and they are a driving light. But here, check this. If you look on top here, both of them have this little bubble. You can see that. And that's so you can adjust the headlight, if you can see that in there. But <laughs> actually, primitive but effective. You know, it works good. This nice this extra piece here. This is correct for 1938. Yeah, I just, uh, boy, these things are so nice. Boy, this is a lot of car. Man, beautiful. So what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the car and I'll start it. Uh, you'll hear it start, hear it run. Hopefully you can hear it run, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> uh, that eight cylinder straight eight really runs smoothly. And uh, I'll just drive it around the parking lot so you can kind of see it move, you know, and then we'll come back and talk a little more. Too bad I can't take you for a drive. I know you'd be impressed with it. It just drives nice and smooth. Uh, walnut dash in these Buicks, that's how they came, and this dash is finished off exactly how it should be. It's beautiful. Got a Buick heater down here that functions, of course. 
everything works on, on the car. The wipers work. Uh, again, the stereo. It's got a, a tube radio, so you you know you turn the radio on. You wait 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and pretty soon here it comes. You know, it, it plays great. Uh, yeah, it, it's just a, a beautiful car. Of course, everything was replaced. All the whiskers, of course, all the weather stripping during the uh, the restoration. Uh, they just did a fantastic job on it, as you can see. I, I can't say enough about it. There is 1,287 miles on the restoration. That's how many are actually on the restored car. Emergency brake works. Horn works. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, this is an opportunity right here to buy a very fine automobile that... Uh, has about two hundred thousand dollars into the build and I, I say that so that you can get a sense of the quality uh, that was put into this particular car so uh, again point you to the website take a look at uh, at the photos there you'll see what I mean and I've got some nice uh, paperwork in terms of uh, the work that was done to the car as well so if I can answer any further questions for you about this Buick special convertible please don't hesitate to give me a call Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763 and thank you for watching today.